Today I will be unboxing the end of World War II, 75th anniversary silver medal from the U.S. Mint, so please stay tuned. Stacking Cat Hello everyone and welcome back to the Stacking Cat channel where I talk all things silver with a little bit of gold and thank you all for watching. If you could please subscribe, smash that like button and share this video, that would be awesome. So as I just said in the little intro, the V75 silver medal just came in from the US Mint. Um, it got here pretty quick. Of course, I went through a lot of the issues that I'm sure many of you had that did order this specific silver medal. Um, I logged in at nine o'clock Pacific, or I logged in before that, but I reloaded the page at exactly nine o'clock right when it hit. And it took me about 18 minutes, so that's not too bad. Yeah, I think it was 918 when I actually was able to secure this thing and pay for it in the cart. I got the confirmation email a little bit after that. Now, I was not able to get the V75 American Silver Eagle, or the gold for that matter. I mean, that was really not in my calculus. However, the Eagle was, and I had that same issue. It took me about an hour or so of just frustration and, you know, getting banned from the site and the CAPTCHA. Is that how you pronounce it? CAPTCHA? CAPTCHA? Whatever it is, I was locked out. And by the time I finally got on, it was already sold out. So I wasn't able to get that one. And But I was able to procure this uh, V75 silver medal. It is still three nines fine. And it looks pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and open it. And then we'll get right back to it and see how it looks. Okay, so I did get it open. And as you can see, it just kind of folded open there. And it was taped a little bit up here. I mean, the U.S. Mint is notorious for these shipping issues. Not in the time it takes to get your item that you ordered, but just in how they go ahead and secure the boxes. But I hope everything's going to be okay. I took the packing slip out, and now we'll remove the coin. Yeah, so it just came in this little paper sheet. Okay, so it looks like a pretty cool box. It's the outer sheath. End of World War II, 75th anniversary, silver medal. Okay, so I did adjust the lighting, hopefully to make it pop a little more. Put this guy right over here in the corner. So United States Mint... Okay, so I did adjust things one more time. I do want to get the best look at this coin for all you guys out there. Or metal, I'm sorry. Got to be a purist. It's a silver metal, not a silver coin. So yeah, United States Mint. This is just their standard box that they use for all their proofs that they release. Let's get that over in the corner as well. All right, I got this upside down. Maybe they put it in upside down. I don't know. Here is the Certificate of Authenticity. Just end of World War II. 75th anniversary silver medal. And all the particulars. If you guys want to pause it and read it, go ahead. Some of the other things there. And it's not personally signed. Now, they did not... I did not see any where they said how many of these were going to be personally signed by David J. Ryder. So I did get the stamped version, but, you know, whatever. It is what it is. I know those would probably be worth a little bit more. I don't know how many they had. Maybe they only had like 10. I remember the 2019 uh, Reverse Proof American Silver Eagle San Francisco Mint which was the hot coin in 2019. I think they only had like 100 of them that were personally signed. So uh, I'm not sure what they were with this one. Let's look exactly what the coin looks like. Or let's see exactly what the coin looks like. Where is it? 
I hope it's not open like international stackers. If you guys saw his video, you saw that his was out of the capsule. And it looks like everything is on the up and up. Of course, the capsule is not in there as secure as it is in some of the other ones. And it doesn't have that little groove to uh, prop the coin up with. Or the metal, I'm sorry, to prop the metal up with. But let's just take a look at this thing. Got some scratches there on the capsule. As you can see, I don't know what that is. Yeah, the coin looks pretty good. Yeah, so I am happy with the way that this metal looks. You can see the eagle holding the olive branch, which is, of course, the extension of peace. Flip this guy over. 75th anniversary. Very reflective, as you guys can see. All of branches. And the same uh, sun ray with the beams that you see on the American Silver Eagles. 75th anniversary. So this one's cool. You know, it's just a different look for the U.S. Mint. Something that you don't always see from them. Of course, it looks like the capsule is pretty scratched up. The coin itself looks in really good shape. So that kind of is all that matters. Okay, so I readjusted the light one more time. I didn't want to see that glare when I got it too close. Okay, that looks a lot better. You still see the reflection. My phone in the background filming this thing. But a really uh, good looking coin. I like it. Metal. It's the third time I've said that. Really cool looking metal. Like I said, they don't have the little uh, deal in there that holds it up. So we're going to have to make do in that way. Okay. I had it sideways. All right. There we go. So I turned the light back on, the overhead light, with these proofs. When you're filming or looking at them with the overhead light, you get a lot of glare. Okay, so that looks pretty good. I think I got it set up. So yeah, this does commemorate and celebrate the end of World War II. It's been 75 years already. Now, Victory Over Europe Day, also known as VE Day, was on May 8th, 1945. You saw celebrations throughout the streets of the United States. And of course, in Europe, uh, places like Great Britain, who were really hit hard, France, during the war. And then we had VJ Day, which was in August of 1945, when Japan surrendered. So yeah, all in 1945, it ended the greatest conflict in world history, which was World War II. So I'm glad to see the U.S. Mint coming out and commemorating it in that regard, it's always nice to see uh, them doing that. But like I said, I was not able to get the V-75 American Silver Eagle, but this medal is a nice consolation prize. Um, congratulations to everybody that got both, as well as everybody who got the gold, too. I mean, that was a feat. I don't know how you guys were able to do it through the U.S. Mint's website. Uh, I'll call it a fiasco. That's what it was. And we've seen this before in the past with the Mint, but just a lot of people are trying to get these. I mean, this one uh, specifically only had a 20,000 metal mintage. See, I said metal right that time, a 20,000 metal mintage for the silver. So it was a little bit more difficult to get. However, it's not reselling for as much as that uh, V75 American Silver Eagle. And I'll go to eBay right now and just go over some of the prices, what people are able to flip them for. Or if you weren't able to get one yourself through the Mint for the $83 or whatever it was, $85 plus shipping, you know, you might want to go through eBay. So I will bring that up. And we'll see what they've been selling for since it came out. So I'm on eBay and I'm just going to go over what these silver medals have been selling for. 
So there's one, $129. Uh, $300, so that's pretty good. It looks like that one was with an auction. Somebody just got it with one bid. But $142.50, $154.50, and so on. So as you can see, the average price is somewhere in the $130 to $150 range. Not quite what the V75 American Silver Eagles have been going for. Those have been going for anywhere between four to six hundred, and I'd say the average around five hundred, maybe even six hundred. But the uh, end of World War II silver medals just aren't quite there. Um, you know, it's the year twenty twenty, so maybe that'll have something to do with it in the future. Uh, in its value, that remains to be seen. But as you can see, it's not quite at the level of the eagle, but. There's a little flipping potential, and as I mentioned earlier, if you're looking to buy one of these, you know, you don't have to break the bank to go ahead and make that purchase. So the proof is in the pudding, at least on eBay, which is only one source for selling. There's other ways to go about if you want to flip these, but eBay is a pretty good barometer, a pretty good guide of what these are all going for. And as we just saw, uh, flipping or selling it may not quite be on par with the V75 American Silver Eagle. However, you can make a little bit of money if you do choose to go that route. And if you want to purchase one, it won't cost you as much as the American Silver Eagle was. So I think then that's going to wrap things up for this video. And if you'd like to see similar videos about silver with a little bit of gold, then please subscribe and push that notification bell, smash that like button, and leave a comment. And until next time, this is the Stacking Cat.